Great Horned Owl. The Great Horned Owl, also known as the Tiger Owl or the Hoot Owl, is a large owl native to the Americas. It is an extremely adaptable bird with a vast range and is the most widely distributed true owl in the Americas. Its primary diet is rabbits and hares, rats and mice, and voles, although it freely hunts any animal it can overtake, including rodents and other small mammals, larger mid-sized mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, and invertebrates. In ornithological study, the great horned owl is often compared to the Eurasian eagle owl, a closely related species, which despite the latter's notably larger size, occupies the same ecological niche in Eurasia, and the red-tailed hawk, with which it often shares similar habitat, prey, and nesting habits by day, thus is something of a diurnal ecological equivalent. The great horned owl is one of the earliest nesting birds in North America, often laying eggs weeks or even months before other raptorial birds. Description the great horned owl is generally colored for camouflage. The underparts of the species are usually light with some brown horizontal barring. The upper parts and upper wings are generally a mottled brown usually bearing heavy, complex, darker markings. All subspecies are darkly barred to some extent along the sides, as well. A variable sized white patch is seen on the throat. The white throat may continue as a streak running down the middle of the breast even when the birds are not displaying, which in particularly pale individuals can widen at the belly into a large white area. South American great horned owls typically have a smaller white throat patch, often unseen unless actively displaying, and rarely display the white area on the chest. Individual and regional variations in overall color occur, with birds from the subarctic showing a washed out, light buff color, while those from the Pacific coast of North America, Central America, and much of South America can be a dark brownish color overlaid with blackish blotching. The skin of the feet and legs, though almost entirely obscured by feathers, is black. Even tropical great horned owls have feathered legs and feet. The feathers on the feet of the great horned owl are the second longest known in any owl. The bill is dark gunmetal gray, as are the talons. All great horned owls have a facial disc. This can be reddish, brown, or gray in color and is demarked by a dark rim culminating in bold, blackish side brackets. This species' horns are tufts of feathers, called plumicorns. The purpose of plumicorns is not fully understood, but the theory that they serve as a visual cue in territorial and sociosexual interactions with other owls is generally accepted. Physiology and measurements. The great horned owl is the heaviest extant owl in Central and South America and is the second heaviest owl in North America, after the closely related, but very different looking snowy owl. It is heavily built, with a barrel-shaped body, a large head, and broad wings. Its size can vary considerably across its range, with populations in interior Alaska and Ontario being largest and populations in California and Texas being smallest, though those from the Yucatan Peninsula and Baja California appear to be even smaller. Adult great horned owls range in length from 43 to 64 cm, with an average of 55 cm, and possess a wingspan of 91 to 153 cm, with an average of 122 cm. Females are somewhat larger than males. Mean body weight is 1,608 grams for females and 1,224 grams for males. Depending on subspecies, maximum weight can reach 2,503 grams. The wing cord length is 297 to 400 mm. The wing loading, the measured wing area compared to weight, is high, meaning the wings are relatively small in surface area for the bird's weight. The species' wing loading has been described as proportionately the highest among raptors. The tail, being relatively short as is typical of most owls, is 175 to 252 mm long. Like other owl species, the great horned owl is capable of silent flight, which is the way owls fly while making almost no discernible noise, despite their large size. This is made possible thanks to three main components of the owl's wing structure. The leading edge of their feathers have serrations that help to disrupt the turbulence generated by wing flapping, then the softer feathers help deaden the sound, and finally the trailing fringe of the feathers that works to finish cutting the sounds made by flight. The structure of the great horned owl wing also allows it to fly at a very low speeds for the size of the species, as slow as 2 miles per hour when they are gliding on breezes. The legs, feet, and talons are large and powerful. Tarsal length is 54 to 80 millimeters. The average foot span of a fully spread foot, from talon to talon, is around 20 centimeters, as compared to 8 centimeters in long-eared owls, 13 to 15 centimeters in barn owls, and 18 centimeters in the great gray owl. 
The hard, inflexible bill of the great horned owl is 3.3 to 5.2 cm long, although the colman, the exposed bill portion as measured along the top of the beak, is only 2.1 to 3.3 cm. The outer ear openings, which are concealed by feathers on the sides of the head, are relatively smaller than those of the Eurasian eagle owl, being 2.3 cm in vertical axis, with the left ear slightly larger than the right. Like most exclusively nocturnal species, the great horned owl has asymmetrical ear holes that allow for the triangulation of sounds when hunting in the dark. The different height holes, while still close together, are differentiated enough that the owl is able to use the timing and direction of the sound waves hitting each hole to precisely locate prey even if the prey is located under cover such as snow. The disc-like shape of their faces also helps to direct the sounds they hear toward their ears. While the true nature, purpose of the ear tufts that are present on the great horned owl is unknown, researchers agree that the tufts do not play any role in the hearing ability of the owl. It is estimated that their hearing is up to 10 times that of a human being. The great horned owl's eyes, just slightly smaller than the eyes of a human being, are large even for an owl and rank proportionately among the largest eyes of all terrestrial vertebrates. The great horned owl has cylindrical eyes which creates more distance from the lens of the eye to the retina, which allows it to act more like a telephoto lens for farther distance sight compared to that possible from round eyes. They are visually highly adapted for nocturnal hunting and provide a wide, almost completely binocular field of view, a large corneal surface and a predominantly rod retina. The great horned owl's eye contains both rods and cones like most species that see in color, but the vision of a great horned owl closely resembles that of many other nocturnal species. The peak wavelengths that are observed by the cones is 555 nanometers and the research suggests that the great horned owl has relatively weak color vision, especially compared to other bird species. Despite the poorer sense of color vision, the owl manages to have excellent night vision. Instead of turning its eyes, an owl must turn its whole head, and the great horned owl can rotate its neck 270 degrees. The iris is yellow, except in the amber-eyed South American great horned owl. Thanks for watching.